Josh, um, a defeat like that, very frustrating. How, how do you feel after that game? Yeah, obviously very, very frustrating. We've done so well to get back in the game. And obviously we took the early lead, so we just need to we need to sort something out quick because um, we're conceding a lot of goals at the moment. So we just need to regroup, get back on the training pitch and put things right. But we need to do it quickly. With a team in such form as it is now, is that goal almost too early for you guys? It's like you make such a quick start, it's hard to get yourself set Yeah, but it's happened time and time again. So um, we need to we need to learn from our mistakes and um, learn quickly because, yeah, as I said, it's happened uh, before quite a few times. Um, we can't switch off from problems like that and let, um, I think it was Leon Clark in the box, uh, leave him on his own because obviously he's going to finish off chances like that. You couldn't seem to get a hold in the game across that 90 minutes. Obviously, as a midfielder, that must be frustrating because you're trying to play football, but at the same time, it's not really working. Yeah, it was. Obviously, Sheffield United are a top team and they do. Um, they set out with a game plan and they do it very well. Probably one of the toughest uh, teams we played this season, so fair play to them. But, um, yeah, I think our own game, we like to dominate. And I think in stages we did dominate, we just didn't really create enough chances. But as I said, we took the early lead and we need to... Um, be stronger than that and be more um, resilient. What was the message at half time? Because at 2 1, it's not a bad scoreline, but you are behind. What was the vibe in the dressing room? Um, just to keep going, really. Just keep going, trying to um, cre create chances. Obviously, work, working on our tactics, what we've done in training all week. But the main one was just keep going and obviously go for the goal and go for the win, which we wanted to do. Unfortunately, tonight wasn't our night, but we need to pick up ourselves up quickly because we've got a massive game on Monday night against West Brom. Obviously a string of 1-0 defeats now, what do you think is the overall problem right now? Is it is it a morale thing? Is it a team thing? What's the issue? To be honest, I, I'm not sure. Um, it's not like we're playing terrible. I think we're still playing quite well. We're just not getting the results. It's just the small margins. Like I said, switch, switching off from, uh, from the throw-in, it's not good enough. It's just the basics. We need to do the basics right and then hopefully the rest will come because it's not like we're getting beat 3-4-0. It's just one one goal. So, but. We can't have to score three, four goals at home to win a game all the time. It's just not on. So, yeah, we just need to um, work on the basics. It's all about, obviously, the West Brom game on Monday. It's, it's a big game. Is it almost nice for you guys that the games are coming thick and fast? Could you get that chance to just keep going and keep progressing? Yeah, that is the good thing about the championship. Like, you can't dwell on things too long because there's another game coming up. And, yeah, we'll get a chance to put it right um, on Monday night on Sky against West Brom, which is obviously they've just come down from the Premiership. So that'll be another tough game. Then we go on to Swansea. But, yeah, we can't uh, dwell on it. And that's the, yeah, as I said before, that's the good thing about the championship. We just need, need to look forward. Uh, we trust Thomas, um, he's got great ideas, so we just need to stick to our game plan, do the basics right and hopefully pick up, uh, pick up some points on the way.